Hey, what's up everyone? John here from testpreminsight.com. And today I'm gonna to be reviewing the MCAT prep course from Princeton Review. I'm gonna break down how their course works, the features that it comes with, the cost comparison, and of course my thoughts on whether I think it's worth it and who also it might be best for. So if you're ready, we've got a lot to get to. Let's hit it. Alrighty, so to kick things off, I just want to mention up front here that since I'll just be sort of limited to talking about the major highlights and lowlights in this video, if you find you need more detail at any point, you can always check out our full detailed written review over on our website. An easy way to get there is just to Google Test Prep Insight Princeton Review MCAT Review. It's a quick way to find it. Okay, so let's kick this review off with a quick price comparison. That way you can get a feel for the different course formats that Princeton offers and how this compares to other MCAT prep providers. So, in short, Princeton Review has four different options. They've got a self-paced online course, which runs for around $2,000, a live online course that runs for $2,800, their 513 Plus course, that runs for $3,500, and they've got their 515 Plus Immersion Package, that runs for around $7,300. So, stacking Princeton Review up against competitors, they're right in line with Kaplan and Blueprint, but more expensive than budget providers like Magoosh and Jack Weston. They're squarely in the middle of that more expensive tier of MCAT courses. Though, I would just note that Princeton does frequently run sales and special promotions, and a lot of times you can find their packages on sale. So be sure to check the description below before buying. I'll do my best to keep that description down below the video screen updated with the most current discount codes that might be out there. Maybe save yourself some money if you decide to go with it. In my experience, you can usually save at least three to $400 even on their base packages. And on the point of those 513 and 515 plus courses, I do just wanna to quickly touch on those. Yes, Princeton does offer packages that guarantee you'll score at least 513 or 515, which is something other prep providers aren't really willing to do. Though I would just note to watch out for the minimum starting score thresholds. There are some fairly strict starting requirements to qualify for those promises. I'll link those down below in the description if you wanna check those out. Okay, so now that we've covered pricing, let's get into how the course works before moving into my thoughts. So starting with the online content, Princeton Review divides up all of your study material by MCAT subject, such as biology and organic chemistry for a total of six sections. Then each subject is broken down into classes. No, these aren't actual live classes. I'm not sure why they call them this. They're just study units. But in any event, each class covers a certain subtopic of the more general category and has three components. Before class, this is sort of a primer for the main lesson and includes a diagnostic exam, reading assignment from your prep books, and some practice questions. Then you've got the class. Again, I know misleading name, but this consists of a series of video lessons. These video lessons hold the meat of the material and serve as your primary instruction. And then you've got after class. This includes drills and workbook practice that serve to reinforce the content from the main lesson. And that's sort of it for the main online or on-demand portion of the course. You work through these classes, which are really just learning modules, knocking them down one at a time as assigned by your study planner in this repeated framework that involves video lessons, drills, practice sets, and assignments from your prep books. And of course, around this, Princeton Review does layer in periodic full-length practice exams for you to get conditioned for the real thing and track your progress. But that's the main gist of it for your online course. Then, if you take any of the other three packages, Live Online, 513 Plus, or 515 Plus Immersion, you're also gonna get some level of live instruction. For these packages, the course shifts to being more about the live class sessions and the homework assignments in between them. And one cool thing I'll note with Princeton Review that we haven't seen with other MCAT courses that we've reviewed is that Princeton Review doesn't just use one or two instructors to teach your class. They actually use a rotating team of four to six different instructors based on the topic. They each have their own specialties and drop in and out based on whatever topic is being covered in that session. I'll talk about this feature more in a minute, but this was a really cool and unique aspect of the Princeton Review package. And that's pretty much it in terms of how the Princeton Review MCAT course works from a high level. And I know I covered that really quickly, so if you do wanna see a more detailed breakdown of exactly how this course plays out, make sure to check out that full detailed written review I mentioned. I'll have it linked down below in the description. I have more detail over there so you can get a better feel for what to expect. And by the way, while I'm on that point, if I could just say, we work really hard to produce honest and helpful content all totally free. So if Princeton Review does end up being the right choice for you, we'd really appreciate it if you use those links listed down below in the description. That's how you can support our channel and it allows us to keep creating these types of helpful review videos. Okay, so now that I've covered how the Princeton Review course works and pricing, let's get into what I like and what I don't like about Princeton's MCAT course and whether I think it's worth it. And let's start with the things that I really like. And the first highlight is the course design. 
Obviously, there is a ton of study material and features with over 500 video lessons, 2,500 plus practice problems, 16 full-length practice tests, and 123 hours of live instruction, but it's more than just volume. It's also very smartly structured. I love how Princeton Review integrates all of these elements through your centralized study planner, and it all flows together very naturally. If you go with one of the live class packages, everything is layered in around your live classes pretty seamlessly, and you get plenty of coverage on high yield topics while getting less weight on less frequently tested topics. The weighting, flow, and design is all on point. All right, so my second pro is the live classes. Like I mentioned earlier, with Princeton, you get 123 hours of live class time across sessions with four to six specialists. It's a really good setup. The teachers are all clearly masters of their little niches, and for the most part, were really good communicators as well. They made time for questions, provide side tips that weren't necessarily in the lesson plans or books, and did a nice job of keeping things moving. Overall, we were really impressed. Then, the next advantage we saw were the problem explanations. The Princeton Review problem explanations are incredibly thorough and do a great job of bulking up the insanely lean AAMC problem solutions that the makers of the exam provide. The Princeton explanations dive into some great detail and break down the basis of the question, as well as give a thorough analysis of each answer choice. Honestly, these explanations add some serious value to the course and should be reviewed after each missed question. All right, so last up here at number four are the prep books. So when you sign up with Princeton Review, they ship you 11 hard copy prep books. Seven are subject-specific content review books, and the other four are various course-based workbooks. The subject-specific review books cover each topic in a ton of detail and give some excellent explanations and helpful graphics. And the workbooks are also pretty useful. They serve as extra practice and a way to reinforce the content that you've already learned. Together, they're a really strong study tool. All right, so that covers what I like. Now let's get to the things I don't necessarily like. But before I hit you with that, I should mention that every single month here at Desperate Vincent, we actually give away a free prep course to one lucky person. It's super simple to enter. Everyone out there is eligible. I'll put all the details down below in the description, but just know, it takes like 10 seconds to enter, and hey, you never know, you could win a totally free MCAT course from Princeton Review. Anyway, the negatives, and I have three of them with Princeton Review, starting with the video lesson delivery. Frankly, the quality of these video lessons is just okay. The production quality is kind of subpar with grainy footage at times and tinny audio, and the Princeton instructors move very quickly through the material. I did really like the analogies and mnemonics that the Princeton instructors incorporated into the video instruction. I thought those were really helpful, but overall, there's never any real attempt to engage students or make the material light. The videos are all business and a little boring. Anyway, my second negative is the mobile app. So yes, Princeton Review does have a mobile app, which I was pretty excited to hear about. Not many other MCAT prep companies offer one. However, the app is limited to just like 550 or so content-based flashcards. There are no practice quizzes, problems, video lessons, or anything else from your actual coursework on the app. Personally, I'd like to see Princeton Review connect their mobile app with their coursework and allow you to do practice problems and watch video lessons straight from your phone. That would be a true value add. And then lastly, my final negative is how Princeton Review is light on the extras. Beyond the core features and study tools that I've already talked about, there isn't much. There's no score predictors, office hour sessions, at least for the self-paced or live online students. There's no printed flashcards or anything like that. And these are things that other companies provide. Princeton Review does give you access to med school admission sessions and a couple of bonus PDFs, but it's really not much. But anyway, that about covers the detail in this review. So let's get to my final verdict. Should you go with Princeton Review for your MCAT prep? Well, when you look at all the factors that truly matter, design and execution of online study material, live classes, realism of practice questions, and quality of their accompanying explanations, and prep books, Princeton Review gets very high marks across the board. Now, we do have some issues with their on-demand video lectures and other features like their mobile app, but by and large, looking at the core curriculum, this is a very solid MCAT prep course that we found to be well-rounded and effective, and we have no problem recommending it. And that's all I've got for you. I hope this video was helpful and you learned a little something. If so, make sure to return the favor by subscribing to our channel, liking this video, and dropping us a comment below. That'd be really appreciated. And again, if you want to see that full, detailed, written review that I mentioned earlier in this video, just hop on over to our website, testprepinside.com, or check out the other videos on our YouTube channel. We've got a bunch of great content out there. But as always, thanks for watching, best of luck, and I'll see you in the next one.